Going in Style is directed by Zach Braff and stars Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, Alan Arkin, and Anne Margaret, and is the remake of the 1970s movie of the same name about three older guys who have been screwed over by their bank, they've lost their pensions, and they decide to rob that very bank. And comedy ensues as the three of them try to learn how in the world they would pull something like this off. I went into this movie not really knowing what to expect, just knowing that this is directed by Zach Braff, and now he's making a movie that seems a little more studio friendly, and he has more projects projects lined up and I'm excited to see him working again but mostly I was there for the three main actors. These guys are legends. Michael Caine and Alan Arkin are in their 80s and Morgan Freeman is like 79. They have been acting for a long time and this is easily the best part of this movie. Seeing these three together performing. Their chemistry is amazing. You feel like they've been friends forever, which their characters have been. And so I had a pretty big grin on my face for a large portion of this movie just because of these three actors and their incredible body of work and the fact that all three of them are together. They all show themselves to have a really good sense for comedy. And I found myself smiling throughout a large portion of the movie. It also has two pretty good small minor supporting roles from Keenan, who I grew up watching Keenan and Kel, and Christopher Lloyd in a role in which I haven't seen him this funny in quite some time. He plays basically the worst case of Alzheimer's you could have, and uh, he really sold it. He was actually really great. I think the funniest scene in the film was the first time they tried to steal something because they figure we're not gonna go big at first. We're gonna try to do something small scale. So they go to a supermarket and try to steal some food to make dinner. And just watching Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, and Alan Arkin trying to steal minor produce goods there's something very entertaining about that. There's a great moment where Michael Caine and Morgan Freeman are staring at each other through a line of cans and they have some dialogue. It was actually fairly funny. I was surprised how much I enjoyed this movie because I saw some of the reviews going in and I was like, oh, okay, I don't know what to expect. And I feel like critics are really overanalyzing this movie. This is a film made for the 60 to 80 demographic to go to the theater and smile for 96 minutes and forget about their troubles and just have some lighthearted, soft, easygoing fun. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think this movie had to be comically daring. I don't think it has to say anything. This movie was made to have fun, and I did have fun watching it, even though I'm not the target demographic. I enjoyed watching these three legends. You know what? Four legends on screen, because Anne Margaret is fantastic, and she's been around for a very long time. Once the main heist starts, I would say the movie loses some steam after that. I was interested because I actually did feel a connection with these characters, but it does taper down a little bit in regards to entertainment value. The film does follow a lot of the basic character tropes you would expect for a movie like this. Some older people are losing their pensions, stick it to the man type stuff, they have families to care for, one of them's sick, you know, all the stuff you would kind of expect. An older man's having a really romantic fling and all of a sudden he feels like a kid again. You've seen all these tropes before, but they're handled in a way that's respectful and simply enjoyable. This is, as I said, a lighthearted, very easygoing movie that if it came on TV at 1 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon and it was raining outside and you had nothing else to do, I could see this film entertaining you. Also, I just want to say, after I saw this movie, I was thinking to myself, it's kind of hilarious. This is like the third in the unofficial Morgan Freeman is old, let's do some fun shit trilogy. The Bucket List, Last Vegas, and now Going In Style. <laughs> He's like, he's made his own unofficial trilogy of I'm dying. <laughs> Let's go do something crazy. I enjoy myself with going in style. These three actors have incredible chemistry with one another. There's really nothing to expect beyond some lighthearted and fun jokes. And I found myself laughing and having a good time. I'm going to give going in style a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Please look forward to this Sunday because I'm gonna finally be able to review Donnie Darko, which is a film that I have a lot to say about and it's been a favorite of mine for many years. Uh, the 4K restoration is in theaters now and it's finally coming to my area at the Nightlight Theater in Akron, Ohio. And I am so excited to see the new restoration and finally review it for you guys. Thank you so much as always for watching and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.